stampers welcome back to my studio this is Deb Belder and I am so excited to show you this card today it is a technique that I'm sure you've seen before it's called no line stamping but we're going to take it to the next level we're going to use some beautiful pencils with it I'm only going to use one stamp it's just a beautiful card so this is the one I did with my orange collection right here uh, this is actually the stamp uh, before I added any detail to it and this is done in blue when I added a little bit of detail you can see the difference between the two and how it started to come alive both of them are absolutely beautiful you don't need to add any detail to this stamp because it is gorgeous it has so much texture and um, just comes alive just all by itself but like I said adding a little bit of texture with my pencils um, really came really made it come to life and then here I added even more so I just added a little bit more color to it um, just to accent the the um, indents of the the flower they just came out so so pretty so let me show you how I did this it's such a fast card so for this one I think I'm gonna do it in pink and this I have already stamped but I'm, I'm gonna show you how I did stamp it okay so that's what it looks like all by itself just plain and we're gonna add to it okay so I'm gonna take my stamp and the first thing I'm gonna do is to just take a light colored ink pad and that's what you want it doesn't matter what color you're going to do it as long as it's light and that's where it comes uh, the name comes from no line coloring because you're not going to see a black outline you're not going to see a um, you're not going to see a, a, an embossed outline it's just going to be um, it's just going to be your your one color here and it's going to be very very light so that you can do your accents over the top of it now don't worry about getting um, ink where you don't need to get ink because um, we're going to go over it with our little marker. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to just add the green parts which are the stem. And that's how I can get two colors on at the same time. And all I'm using is the side of the marker. It does not ruin the marker at all. I'm just using the side of the marker and just coloring it in. This is such a beautiful stamp. And then what I'll do is just take a scrap sheet of paper and just rub off the excess color. All right, so now we have that. I'm gonna take my cardstock and I'm just going to ink it down. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Like I said, all by itself, it's absolutely beautiful. But when you add the extra to it, it's gorgeous. I just want to show you how beautiful. And that's just done with the ink um, pad and the marker. That's it. So let's just show you the next step up. I'm going to take some of my um, pencils and I am going to use the um, oil-based Faber-Castell. All right, so the, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lighter color and I'm just going to use little flicking motions and I'm going to, I'm going to follow the pattern of the flower. So you can see here, I'm just kind of adding a little bit of texture to each one of these. Okay, so there's round one. Now I'm going to take just a little bit of a darker uh, pink and just go over the same lines. I'm going to bring this one back in here just so that you can see the difference between the two of them and how we're actually making this one come to life. It's just absolutely beautiful. Now our last, you see the difference between the two of them and how this is coming, um, just, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now I think I'm just gonna take um, a little bit darker and here's where these um, oil-based pens come in really nice because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add quite a bit of shading down here at the bottom. And 
now my very last color, I'm going to bring in some blue and I'm going to just take and really highlight the bottoms of these. go with just a little bit of shading um, look at the difference between the two of them do you see how this one just comes more to life it just pops even more so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and um, just put our card together that's all there is to it and there we go so now you got to tell me, leave me a message in the um, comment section and let me know if you like the pink better, the yellow orange better, the blue, or just the plain ones. They're just so very, very pretty. Um, these are my three favorites right here. I just love the way they came out. I love how they just... I don't know it just pops them like I said the stamp alone has so much texture and so much detail to it that it's beautiful all by itself but you add that to it and it's fantastic I used my favorite castle um, pencils and um, I sharpened them I love my sharpener I've just got to show you my sharpener this is my no stick electric um, pencil sharpener I'm always I'm always on the lookout for a good um, sharp pencil sharpener this is a no stick one I love it it's the halo um, if you look in the link below you can you can find out where I got it from but I love this one um, I'm always testing out new ones and so far this is my favorite one and it is electric so it's amazing um, like I said if you have any questions you let me know I'm always here to help thank you for stopping by you take care and have a great day